Hello, I'm A1 Sirius, and this is a kind of a demonstration more than a tutorial on, on controlling fire. There's not a whole lot we're going to do. We're just going to look at things. And let's start out with looking at this ring of fire. Uh, we have two elements, two flow elements, the skull, or Suzanne actually, and the, the ring. And they're just uh, controlled to keep the flame size down. That's all there is to this and uh, I'll quit that and then we could look at uh, a scenario where we have this a little bit more animated where this flame is not not as uh, vorticious or as um, you know turbulent as the flame that I would like to have and uh, um, but I have animated it to the point where where the flame is small first and then it grows up there and then you can see that this object here the Zuzan is not a flow object but it's a collision object so the flame is going to go around her uh, and uh, look at that one and then we can just look at this last it's just this is the same thing as the first one it's just more there's just a more transparent flame to it there's a very low transparency value on the on the materials so we'll look at the file that I used to create this and it's uh, fairly simple you have this ring here I go to edit mode and look at it it's just a ring of faces uh, and that's the flow object and here um, click there that's the collision object and the, in terms of the animating the flame um, the only thing uh, that happens here is um, let's see, oh, we'll have to find the, the collision here uh, there smoke no um, smoke flames there you go this one here that's the speed uh, that's the the element that we have animated and I'll back that up and you see here Okay, we need to go to the animation so we can look at that. Uh, and then um, I'll press control up arrow. So we can look at this um, curve. And uh, first it starts at, at one and here it goes down to, what is it? Approximately 0 0.2 or something like that. And if we do this and go over here, yeah, you see here, it's down to 0 0.23, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and that just kind of make the flame bigger. And then we bring it back up so it you know, makes the flame smaller again. And another element that I'm not gonna demonstrate right now is the vorticity. You have these elements here, those are ways of controlling the bake so you get a more turbulent flame. So all I've done here is just uh, you know created this is a flow element it's a fire flow element this is a domain that one here is a collision element and I use the same technique as uh, in the first fire with you in terms of uh, you know baking and then you render it and in this case I can show you that I've done you know in both cases I did a still still render so it's rendered to still frames and then I'll use the video editor to render that to video so that's the basic um, flow workflow for this so I'll, I'm just going to play this again here. So that way you can get this flame looking, you know, it's kind of licking the, uh, the object that is, you know, that feeds the flame. And it uh, looks reasonably realistic that way. And here I'm using a more transparent flame.
So if there are any questions on this, I might, you know, if you have questions on the materials or such, I might uh, post another video, but uh, I'll just keep this right here at this level for now, and um, we'll see if we get some response. And I thank you for viewing. Thank you. Bye-bye.